Hey there, future citizens. Welcome back to our channel. This video covers the 100 official USCIS civics questions. Before getting started, here is some important information. For the oral test, an immigration officer will ask you up to 10 questions from 100 civics questions. You need to answer at least six out of 10 questions correctly to pass the civics portion. The 10 questions are randomly selected by the officer, so be prepared for anything. There are no multiple choice questions. You'll need to provide a single answer unless the question specifically asks for more information. You have the freedom to choose your own answers from the list the USCIS provides but we selected the easiest answers in this video. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more invaluable citizenship resources, tips, and tricks. So are you ready to dive into the 100 USCIS civics questions? Buckle up, because we're about to get started. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech Name your U.S. representative. What are two cabinet-level positions? Secretary of Education Secretary of Energy When must all men register for the Selective Service? Between 18 and 26 Who was the first President? George Washington Name one U.S. Territory Puerto Rico Name one state that borders Canada Alaska Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II There were 13 original states. Name three New York New Jersey Virginia Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. Publius in what month do we vote for president? November When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th Who is the father of our country? George Washington What did the Declaration of Independence do? said that the United States is free from Great Britain. What is the capital of your state? What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the Military? The President Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans When was the Constitution written? 1787 Where is the Statue of Liberty? Liberty Island 
Name two national U.S. holidays. Thanksgiving. Christmas. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for civil rights. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Taxation without representation. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion, or not practice a religion. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote. Join a political party. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech. Freedom of religion. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life. Liberty. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Missouri River. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. Emancipation Proclamation. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because they have more people. What does the judicial branch do? Explains laws. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Who is in charge of the Executive Branch? The President. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. Name one branch or part of the government. President. Who makes federal laws? Congress. Who is the governor of your state now? Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. 
who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil Rights Movement Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. Vietnam War What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Kevin McCarthy Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Give a driver's license. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution We elect a president for how many years? Four Who vetoes bills? The President What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. Diplomat What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27 What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris what territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people what is the political party of the president now? Democratic What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist economy We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. 
What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Be loyal to the United States. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Free the slaves. What major event happened on September 11, 2001, in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. If both the President and the Vice President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Speaker of the House. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What is the rule of law? No one is above the law. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War.